Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector, and it's Sunday night, and I wanted to come on and announce that I am going to be starting a Vintage Baseball Card Podcast. Okay, so that's the, that's the end of the story. Now let's back up a little bit. I have been thinking literally for years about doing it, and been encouraged by a bunch of people on YouTube saying, hey, you need to start a podcast, you'd be great at it, and all this kind of stuff. And while I don't necessarily disagree or, or in terms of like the idea sounds like a good idea, I had no idea where to start. I genuinely like, oh, it's easy, people would say. And I'm like, I still don't have any idea how to even get something like that off the ground and how you get on different platforms. I just, it was one of those things like, look, you know what? It's too much hassle. I'm not going to mess with it. Well, now that I've moved over to Bench Clear Media, which has been awesome, and everybody's so great and collaborative and trying to help each other, and so I pitched this idea to Ty. I said, "Hey, Ty, I'm, what do you think about me doing a podcast?" And his eyes lit up, and he was super excited about the possibility of that because we want to have a lot of different. You know, we want to offer as many things as we can. We just launched a soccer podcast by Michael Rathburn, who is amazing. And if you didn't see his video yesterday uh, with with the Tops guy talking about the new soccer Bowman release, it's fascinating. I'm not even a soccer guy, and I really enjoyed hearing that. And uh, it was a great interview, and Michael knows his stuff. It's unbelievable about soccer. So if you're interested in soccer at all, you need to listen to his podcast. It's called Inside the Pitch which is a, interest, a great name, by the way, because a uh, soccer field is called a pitch. And it just a good play on words. I just thought it was really clever. Uh, so anyway, he Ty helped Michael launch that and do that for Bench Clear. And so that's going to be an ongoing thing. And so I've just, again, been kind of throwing around this idea of doing my own podcast on vintage cards because there's not a whole lot of, in fact, I don't know that there's any out there that, that are focused strictly on vintage. There's a lot of guys that have great podcasts. Uh, John Newman and Sports Card Nation, Wax Packs Hero, Wax Pack Hero. <laughs> uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of great podcasts out there. But none of them that, that specifically focus on the vintage side of the thing. So here's two things that I would really love to get some feedback on. Maybe three. A, would you listen to it? Like if I launched a podcast, and we're not talking about anytime soon, we're I'm, uh, Ty's helping me get all the equipment, he's helping me get all set up, he's probably going to be on my first episode, just helping me kind of get a feel for what this podcast thing looks like. And a podcast will also be, everything will be shot on YouTube too, uh, so that, and that's how we're doing all of them from now on on Bench Clear is we're going to video the podcast so that they can be aired not only on a podcast through Apple or wherever podcasts are aired, SoundCloud or I don't know, all these different things and on YouTube. And so uh, anyway, should I, you know, what do you think? Good idea? Bad idea? Be honest. It's okay. Uh, number two, what about a name for it? Uh, I've been, I got a name that I think I want it to be. I don't want to say it here because I will be afraid to... Uh, you know, influence your, your creativity, I guess. So help me come up with a name. Again, it's going to be all about vintage sports car, vintage baseball. I'm actually going to be even more specific, vintage baseball, because I'm going to stay in the lane of what I'm comfortable in and what I have a, a at least a, a working knowledge of. If I start getting into other sports and stuff, I, th I just feel like I'm going to get lost. And so the idea is it's going to be... Um, me telling stories and having guests and talking to them and just kind of that general format is what it's going to be. And uh, again, I said not anytime soon. We're, we're looking into the next month to six weeks probably launching this thing. And so we got a little time, but would you listen? Any good name ideas that you think? And uh, oh gosh, what else? Number three, topics. Like what would you guys love to hear about on a podcast? And I'm kind of thinking in the 30 to 45 minute range. Uh, hour seems kind of like a sweet spot, but I just, 
you know, until I get some my legs under me a little bit, maybe I'll do a little bit shorter ones just uh, so that people don't lose interest maybe and get bored just to kind of keep it rolling. But again, all the feedback you can give me, I would love to hear it. I have only become a recent podcast listener. I was not a podcast guy before, but now that I'm driving out to the ranch every weekend and back and forth a lot, uh, and it's an hour, 15 minute drive, man, I pop on a podcast of a sports card one and it makes the time go by so much faster. It's fantastic. And so, uh, anyway, let me know what you think. That's kind of what's going on. I do have some mail to show, by the way, uh, stuff picked up over the last three, four, five days, and we'll go over that. So again, tell me what you think. I would love to hear it. Let's check out some mail right now. All right, here we go. Before I get quickly into the mail, I just want to give a shout out to my boys, Stefan and Peyton, the sports card fam. They came out to the ranch this morning and we hung out and shot some guns and kind of just drove around a little. It's it's just, it's hot as Hades here in Texas. I mean, it is, I think it was 103, 104 day and it's just been like that and man, everything's so dry, but they came over today. They were visiting uh, their dad, his dad up in Abilene and so it was just great to see them and hang out with them. So they will like some of this mail. So first card up uh, is this card right here. I'm going to hold it like this because I want to turn it over. So I saw this card. I bought a whole lot, um, several, a whole lot just sounds like many, but it means uh, several Hall of Fame autographs, tops cards. And I was just kind of thumbing through what the other, what the seller was selling. And I saw this and I was like, God, I remember this from when I was a kid. This is like 1989. This is from the Senior Professional Baseball League. And they had all these old major leaguers basically uh, playing in <laughs> this senior baseball league. And Fergie Jenkins was one of the pitchers for the Super Sox, it looks like. Where were they at? Like New Haven or something? Winter Haven? Uh, and it signed. And I just thought that was so cool. Again, these were made by Tops. There's the back of them. And I totally forgot about them. And then I saw this. I'm like, that's just fantastic. Shout out to Mike. Canadian Cards. Chatham, Ontario. Fergie Jenkins. Anyway, I just, again, thought that was neat. And I had to add it to the collection. So I did. And I think it was like $9 or something. All of these were $10 or less. So all of these Hall of Fame autographs you're going to see. There's an 81 Tops Alan Trammell. 1980 tops Phil Negro. Again, these just all fit into the you know player era Hall of Fame autographs. There's an 83 tops Phil Negro. We got a 77 tops Goose Gossage. 85 tops Goose Gossage. And then finally, an 87 tops Goose Gossage. So again, if I can get them for 10 bucks or less, some of them, I think a couple of them were $8, a couple of them $9, $10. And these were all from Baseball Card Exchange, by the way. That was the seller I was looking at. So a very, very reputable seller. And so I was just, I was like, okay, sure. I'll pick all those up. All the last four are slabs. And man, I just continue to work on this behemoth of a project of every Hall of Famer from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. And love this. This is a 1967 top strikeout leaders. You got Koufax, Hall of Famer, Jim Bunning, Hall of Famer, and then Bob Veal, who I have discovered is a really, really good pitcher for the Pirates back in the 60s. So there's that. Nice little leaders card. Speaking of Fergie, we saw Fergie earlier, and I've been grabbing a few of these 71s because I've just kind of been seeing them recently and like okay I need to really work on this set that particular year it's one of the years that I have the fewest cards for for the Hall of Famers this is because the the grade slash price ratio is so off kilter on 71s and so I had to pick that up and you're going to see very few of these graded in a Investor, or not investor grade, collector grade, like which is a seven. I'm going to be picking up much worse grades only because of the price. And here's the Yastrzemski for 71. And 
I started looking and I'm like, oh man, I am so close on Yastrzemski. When I bought this card, I needed three more. I needed 76, 77, and 67 for his entire PSA run. And I bought, the, since uh, over the weekend, I bought the 76 and the 77. So now I only need a 1967 Tops Yastrzemski to have all of his cards and I can do a showcase. And that's just, I just love it when I, when that happens, when I get them finished up. And then the last card is this beautiful, speaking of being almost done, uh, there's a 54 Bowman Whitey Ford. So the only card I need to have every Bowman and Topps card of Whitey Ford is his rookie card, 1951 Bowman. So that was going to be a card I was really going to target at the National. But sadly, as we all are aware, there is no National going to be in 2020. So I guess we'll start looking towards 2021 in Chicago. But uh, just picked up this five uh, for a great price. And I mean, I paid 50 bucks for it. I guess that's about what they're going for. But just happy to get it. And um, again, I only need one more card to have every Whitey Ford card. So anyway, that is it for the mail today. Again, remember, let me know down below what you think about the whole podcast thing. Uh, help me come up with a name. Be clever. I think I have an idea of what I want to call it, but I'd love to just get some ideas about it. So thanks everybody for watching. Hope you have a great week coming up. Keep collecting.